Don't watch that. Watch this. Well, what do you mean by this? Oh, well, this is my channel. Welcome to it. And if you guys do really enjoy it, you can go in, you can click the share button. That really, really helps the algorithm go to Twitter, Facebook, Blogger. I don't even know what the crap that is. Reddit, all the stuff. So if you do love that, we also have a join button. You go in, you click a little join button. Four ninety nine a month, you get all the cool, awesome emojis. Now, enjoy the video. I have tried to make this video three times about Lower Decks, and I still don't know what it's about! No, really! I can't remember anything about this episode! I've watched it three times, or I've tried to, including all the times sitting there counting the references and adding the ding, y you know, the ding every time you hear a reference on screen. I'm going to say reference a lot, and please, please, please do not play any sort of drinking game every time, because you will die. We don't want any of that to happen, so I do have to put that disclaimer out there. Hello, everyone. I am random 42 the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. And this episode of Lower Decks it featured Clippy, the clip art, Clippy clip guy from old Windows. Yeah, that guy, that guy, for some reason, I, I guess Green Tilly and Cyborg, or not Cyborg, Jordy LaForgery, as Nitpicking Nerd calls him, so shout at him, uh, subscribe to his channel, also a really good channel, Major Grin, that, yeah, Jordy LaForgery and Green Tilly here have decided to, I guess she needed the training for the, for the spacewalks that they're gonna do in the holodeck, but yeah, like, like it, like in reference Trek fashion, they have to turn it into a bunch of references to everything from old computer operating system memes, I guess, to just references to references. Again, member berries, references, references of references. I guess there's some dispute over who's salvaging a ship in the main bridge. Oh, and then there's another plot about a guy who wants to make himself smart by plugging his brain into the computer or something because references and member berries all over the place. That's all this is. It was hard to pay attention to again. It is still the same loud, annoying, constant noise on top of noise. It's, it's like sleeping next to a construction site, right? Like, like, let's say your neighbors are renovating or building or something and they have people coming in at like seven in the morning and you're hearing hammering for months on end at like seven in the morning or jackhammers or stuff like that. Eventually, you're, you're just able to kind of sleep through it because it just becomes one constant noise. That's what Lower Decks is, and every time the show is on, I end up surfing the internet. I end up wanting to do anything else, and that is not a very fun way to spend an episode of, wa of watching something. I'm also turning this into a game of let's take notes and count the references, so this is your favorite part of the video and mine. I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, that was Enterprise D at Warp 4. And Voyager was all... Their claim of salvage on Starfleet cargo is ludicrous. You want to goof around? Go work on Starbase 80. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when those Nazikins tried to eat your heart? Uh, what do you think's in that cargo that has everyone so wound up? A bunch of cryo-frozen princesses? Or I hope it's old communicators. You know the original clamshell design? <laughs> Base walking is easy. You just float and magnet. Float and magnet. Yeah, you know, it's not just for hanging with Sherlock Holmes and Robin Hood and Sigmund Freud and Cyrano de Bergerac and Einstein and Da Vinci and Stephen Hawking and Socrates. Oh, yeah. I saw the Zebulon sisters do it back on Deep Space 3, and I am just now coming down from the high. Choo choo! Uh, evasive patterns, solo alpha! Oh, come on! So I hooked it up directly to my brain and let it run so it would make me smarter. Oh. And you know what? We're Starfleet. We're Starfleet. We let this thing beat us up a little. Then later, we say that a Q showed up and caused all of this. Whoa! I got this! Whoa, the Titan! Isn't that like your dream gig? If I think you're going through a temporal rift or something. A rift? What a. Whoa! Oh, come on, I got the keys to the captain's yacht. Wait. I'm sure I missed a few. They went really deep with some of those too, and just like every other episode, they go so deep and make references that seem like they're a reference when they might not actually be one. They use a lot of that sort of language and filler words. So those, those are a lot of filler words that I'm finding where they don't really have any story or plot. They just fill in with, hey, remember this thing, or this is a Star Trek sounding word, or species, or planet, or something like that that, that makes you think about Star Trek, or makes you, it reminds you of Star Trek. 
So yeah, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being probably my favorite thing ever, one being I can't stand it and it's torture to sit through. This is probably about a two. It's kind of Star Trek-y, but I just turn my brain off and I cannot pay attention to it. It takes me so long and so much effort to even remember what happens in something that is only designed to make you remember what has happened in Star Trek. I, I, I don't understand how this is possible, but did I miss any references? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. I do not like this show. You guys probably don't like the show either. Please share the video and also please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, keep your comments to yourself. Or whatever. I don't care anymore. I'm <laughs> Mecha Random 42. And I will see you guys on the next video, live stream, or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Don't give me the Star Trek crap. It's too early in the morning. <laughs>